Hi, this is Multitopic Talk. Welcome to my review for chapter 49 of Boruto Naruto Next Generation. So basically, we will go over some spoilers, what's going on, and my thought about that chapter. I really liked it. The proof is they will, there will be a review about it. The, the review is right now. So basically, let's start with the start. We get Ishiki entering the Leaf Village. So now, uh, the Wolf Village received the order to not engage him. Only Sasuke and Naruto are authorized to engage him since he's a monster and he's too strong for even Naruto and Sasuke. But the point is, the Wolf Village knows there's an intruder and that intruder is a monster so basically right now what Ishiki is doing is searching for Kawaki with this Byakugan and he's really trying hard to find him while uh, Sasuke and Naruto are speaking about hiding Kawaki with Sai and um, Shikamaru in an underground facility that is protected from Byakugan so uh, Ishiki won't be able to see it and in the meantime um, we get some stupid ninja that are seeing Ishiki and they're like yo what are you doing here and one of them is throwing shuriken at the guy and the guy is just really man really and the, the ninja that threw shurikens died like Ishiki don't have any time to waste and then he asked the other one where is Kawaki and the other one is yo uh, I don't know uh, we have no information about it you know and now we see another thing about Ishiki he thanks the guy for being honest you know Ishiki is a great bad guy he is amazing he is probably my favorite villain of of the whole Naruto universe because of how he acts. He is just like, he's a really bad guy, but he, he's not the typical bad guy that blows up everything. Like, he's polite, he's just chilling, he's like, yo, um, yeah, thank you, man. I let you live for that, you know? And then we see uh, Naruto leaving uh, I think it was the Okage mansion or something uh, to buy some time to stop uh, Ishiki uh, to go any further in the village and then um, we see Sasuke and Boruto speaking in private about Boruto's fear Boruto is not is not scared to die like he's willing to die like any other shinobi However, he don't want um, that that uh, Momoshiki take over him and kills everyone, you know? So he's just that scared teenager with a monster inside of him. And that's very interesting. And you see, at that moment, I felt bad for Boruto. And I, I start really liking his character. Like, at first, I never really ate on Boruto, but... I had no feeling toward that character like he, he was I was feeling like he was flat by the start of the anime it was not the typical uh, shonen character that's what I liked however nothing was really special about Boruto but uh, that aside that moment with Boruto speaking about his fear show all he trusts Sasuke and that was very a good character moment for both Sasuke and, Naruto and Boruto and then we see Naruto getting destroyed by Ishiki because Naruto cannot go all in in the village because he's gonna blow up everything and he don't want that and then uh, at the moment Ishiki is about to really destroy Naruto like with with his feet like he don't even wear shoes he's like with his feet he's kicking Naruto ass that's funny and 
we only see that with with Ishiki, you know. And then at that moment where Naruto is gonna take full lead, Sasuke enters the battlefield with his Rinnegan and he switch place. And then you see Ishiki is like really is pissed off. He's like, "Yo, why, why Rinnegan? Like Rinnegan is too much. It's annoying, you know." And then you see Sasuke has a plan, and I'm pretty sure it's a good plan because basically they both threw a lot of shurikens, and I'm pretty sure each time uh, Ishiki is using his eyes, he is losing a bit of his strength, if we can say, because I'm not sure if. Uh, Otsutsuki's have really chakra maybe they do have chakra but I need to verify on that but I'm pretty sure they have some kind of power or any energy type I don't know like if it's chakra or power but anyway when he uses eyes to shrink everything I'm pretty sure he's losing a bit of his power or chakra whatever it's called it in Otsutsuki cases um, so I think that Sasuke is using those shuriken as distraction to lower the the power of his opponent, and then he throws his sword. And then at that moment, if I remember correctly, we have uh, the sword not being able to be shrinked because it's Boruto. Boruto is the sword. It's it's like some reminder of. The lands of Wave Arc, where uh, where uh, Naruto and Sasuke had the plan to uh, liberate Kikashi from the water prison jutsu with the Fuma Shuriken uh, tactic. So basically, what happened? Boruto was the sword of Sasuke. He was transformed into it. That's why Ishiki could not shrink it. And then Boruto teleports. Uh, Ishiki outside of the village in some other dimension and that's where we pick up with what Boruto and Sasuke were talking about just before leaving the mansion they were saying uh, yo um, if, if, if Momoshiki take over don't worry uh, Boruto I'm gonna kill you like Sasuke he, he knows Naruto cannot kill Boruto if Momoshiki takes over but he's willing to do it as his teacher. So by that moment, you see how Sasuke recognize really Boruto as his student. And you see where he's ready to go just to um, make him secure, make him feel good, you know. And that moment was amazing. And... You see Sasuke having some kind of feelings, like he understand Boruto, he understand why Boruto is scared to become Momoshiki. And he tried to make him act, uh, more good about it, saying, yo, I'm gonna put my life on the line to kill you, Boruto, if you become Momoshiki, I'm gonna kill you. That's basically what he said. So by that moment, it's it's... It's gold. Those moments are gold. You see how Sasuke has changed so much. But he's still that dark guy. That it, it, edgy good guy. Like it, it, it gives me some Danzo vibe. And I like it so much. It's like Danzo 2.0. But that, that Danzo is a good one. You know. And then you see Naruto and Sasuke joining Boruto. Facing Ishiki. And Naruto is like, yo, what the fuck are you doing here? Boruto, I told you to leave with the others. So, you see, Boruto is just like, yo, now you can go all out if you want. It's, that was gold. And we end with that. So that's the climax of this chapter. You see Naruto, Sasuke, and Boruto facing off Ishiki. And the next chapter is going to be fire. Really, it's going to be fire. I cannot wait for mid-September. If I remember correctly, it's in mid-September. And uh, if you are interesting, uh, interested, if you are interested on any other videos, I have uh, a lot of prediction uh, on the time skip, after the time skip, and after chapter 50.
so basically i hope you guys enjoyed um have a great day and uh, like comment and subscribe see you later